In a closed control system, we saw for a fact that we provide a feedback from the output of the system to the input of the system. But how does this feedback affect the various parameters of a control system like the gain, the sensitivity and the stability? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. How does the presence of a feedback affect the various parameters of a control system? Well, let's find out. So now, let us consider a particular control system like this. So let this be a particular control system. So now, let us assume that we are giving an input signal to this particular control system, say, R of S. So then, if this is the input signal, then let us assume that we get an output signal, say, C of S, like this. So now, let the gain of this particular control system be, say, G. So this is the case of a control system where there is no feedback. Now, let us provide a particular feedback over here like this. So, let this be a particular feedback element. Let a feedback of say H be provided over here. So, now if this is the case, then we get the transfer function of such kind of a control system with a negative feedback as the transfer function is given as T of S is equal to C of S by R of S which is equal to G divided by 1 plus G H. This is a transfer function of a particular control system having a negative feedback. So therefore, in the case of a control system with a particular feedback element, the overall effective gain of this system is given by this particular transfer function T of S is equal to G divided by 1 plus G H. So here G is the gain of this particular system without this particular feedback element. So if this feedback was not there, the gain of the system was simply just G. But because we have this feedback element over here, now the effective gain of this entire system is given by the transfer function given as T of S is equal to C of S by R of S is equal to G divided by 1 plus G so now let us consider the first case. So in the first case, let us slowly increase the negative feedback that we are producing over here. So let us increase the value of H. So when the value of H increases, what you observe is that the entire denominator also increases. The value of this particular denominator, it increases. So therefore, as the value of this denominator increases, the overall expression decreases. So therefore, as H increases, increases the overall effective gain of this particular system decreases. So therefore, as H increases, the value of 1 plus GH increases. And as the value of 1 plus GH increases, the value of T of S, that is the entire expression, will decrease. But next case, let us assume that we are decreasing the value of H. Let the value of H start decreasing. And now, as the value of H starts decreasing, the value of the denominator also starts decreasing. But now, as the value of denominator starts decreasing, the overall expression starts increasing. That is because lesser the value of the denominator, higher will be the value of this particular fraction. So therefore, as H decreases, the value of 1 plus GH also decreases. So therefore, as the value of 1 plus GH decreases, the value of T of S will increase. So this thus is simply how the presence of a particular negative feedback element affects the overall gain of a particular system. A control system. Next let us see how the presence of this particular feedback element affects the sensitivity of this particular system. So the sensitivity of a system is given by the expression S is equal to the percentage change in a transfer function divided by the percentage change in the gain. So here the transfer function is given as T is equal to G divided by 1 plus GH. So therefore here the sensitivity is given as S is equal to the percentage change in this particular transfer function divided by the percentage change in this particular gain. So therefore this can be written as DT by T the whole into 100 divided by DG by G into 100. So now here this 100 and 
100 gets cancelled and therefore on simplifying this we get dt by dg into g by t but 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 here we know for a fact that the transfer function is given as t is equal to g divided by 1 plus gh and therefore on taking the t over here to the denominator and taking 1 plus gh over here we get g by t is equal to 1 plus g h so therefore this value g by t is obtained as 1 plus g h how is that from the transfer function we have obtained this so let this be given as equation number two and now dt by dg is simply but the differentiation of this particular transfer function g divided by 1 plus gh so this can be differentiated using the differentiation equation for a particular fraction that is denominator into differentiation of the numerator minus numerator into differentiation of the denominator the whole divided by denominator squared so on applying that particular equation over here we will get the denominator which is 1 plus gh into the differentiation of the numerator which is 1 minus g into the differentiation of the denominator which is h the whole divided by 1 plus gh the whole squared and now on simplifying this we get 1 plus gh minus gh which is 1 so this would be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus gh the whole square and now on substituting this value over here we get sensitivity s is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus gh the whole squared multiplied by the value of g by t which is 1 plus gh so therefore this would be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus gh this is the value of the sensitivity of a particular system that is s is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus gh so this is simply the expression that we obtain for the sensitivity of this particular system as simple as that guys so therefore from this particular equation we can observe that as the value of h increases as the value of this h increases the denominator also starts increasing and therefore the sensitivity decreases and similarly as the value of h decreases we observe that the value of the denominator decreases and therefore the value of the sensitivity increases so this thus is the effect of a negative feedback on the sensitivity of a particular system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. Next, let us see the effect of feedback on the stability of a particular system. So here, we know for a fact that the transfer function T of S is given as T of S is equal to C of S by R of S is equal to g divided by 1 plus gh but here let us assume the case where gh becomes equal to minus 1 if gh is equal to minus 1 then what we observe is that h is equal to minus 1 by g so in the case where h is equal to minus 1 by g this becomes 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 but any number divided by 0 will be infinity so therefore in this case this implies that the transfer function t of s is equal to infinite that is it is not defined so in such kind of a case we say that this particular system is not stable it has become unstable but in the case of a particular system where there was no feedback element the gain was simply g and therefore there is no case in which this particular system can be unstable but in the presence of a particular feedback in this particular situation where h is equal to minus 1 by g we observe that we get a transfer function which is equal to infinite therefore making this particular system unstable so therefore in such kind of a situation this system is now unstable so that is the effect of negative feedback on the stability of a particular system as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so these thus are the effects a particular negative feedback can create on a particular control system 
As simple as that, guys. There's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what the various effects of a feedback make on a control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.